Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. As promised, I am slowing down on my Valentine's Day balloon garlands and I really want to focus a little more on requested video lists. That list is long. I want to pick a few most requested ones and hopefully help you out and hopefully my designs, my work will inspire you. Today's theme is Peppa Pig. You guys, you've been asking me to make this theme for so long. I had all of my balloons prepped for such a long time, but it seems like I haven't had time to just focus on this theme, focus on that pile of balloons. So today is the day. All of the balloons that I will be using today for today's video came from Lauredale Paper and Balloon Company. You guys, I highly suggest going and checking their website out. They have a huge selection of balloons, party supplies. I mean, whatever you need, you'll probably find there. I will link and list everything that I will be using in this video in the description under the video. All the balloon count, you guys, very important. Balloon count will be listed in the description under the video as well. If you're a new customer to Laura Dale Paper and Balloon Company, you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off. Without any further ado, let's go. And here is what I'm working with today. Before planning on this video, I browsed through Google to find a picture of Peppa Pig family. And here's what I found. I was basically going off of their clothing color and I like it. It's gonna be very colorful, cherry, bright balloon garland and unusual colors. And I've never worked with these colors in one balloon garland. So I'm pretty excited. Let's break this down. What do we have here? We have coral 511 inch, dark blue 51611, orange 51611, and Caribbean blue in 51611. On top of this, it's a lot of balloons. I am using low temperature glue gun, 20 pound fishing line, electric balloon pump, and balloon tying tool. I am ready to tackle all of my balloons. I am using electric balloon pump from Laura Dale Paper and Balloon Company. It will save me so much time. I am not mixing my colors today. I am not mixing sizes. I will be pairing my balloons color by color, size by size because I am working with fishing line and I am going leaning towards using my new technique that I've just started using, not mine, everybody's. I didn't invent this technique. Let's blow them. What I'm doing is I am taking two balloons, same color, same size at the same time, and I am blowing them at the same time. As soon as you're done blowing your balloons, just press your balloons against the floor to give them more rounder shape and then tie your two balloons together to create a pair like this. Let's start building our garland. I am going to start with my orange balloons, 16 inch. I am tying my 20 pound fishing line to my first pair. Here, putting my pair right on top of my first one and pushing as hard as I can to my first one, taking my fishing line and wrapping around one of the newly placed balloons. I am pushing my balloons down and pulling on my fishing line. Again, around different newly placed balloon. Push on my balloons, pull on my fishing line. Be careful how hard you're gonna pull on your fishing line because fishing line and curling ribbon can't cut your balloons and balloons will start deflating. To secure your second pair on your first one, just wrap your fishing line around first pair of balloons okay and then wrap this fishing line around 
one of the top balloons as well. Okay, taking my third pair, pushing down as hard as I can, taking my fishing line, wrapping, pushing my balloons, pulling on my fishing line around another newly placed balloon, push and pull, taking fishing line and wrapping around a totally different random balloon, push a little bit, okay, let's take another 11 inch balloon, again right on top, push, wrap, push and pull, wrap, push and pull around totally random, balloons don't pull too hard I'm gonna add a little bit of five inch of balloons I'm gonna twist my piece of garland and see where I see the gap so right here I can see a little bit of a, a gap and I can see through the balloons so, so I'm taking my five inch balloon I am repositioning my fishing line to the side Taking my five inch balloon, so putting it right into the gap, wrapping, wrapping, push and pull around totally different balloons. I want to put one more pair right here, doing exactly the same what I did with my first five inch balloon pair. Push and pull, wrap, push and pull around totally different random balloons we are forming another gap over here so I'm taking more 5 inch balloons and I am closing my gaps I want to place my next pair not right on top where we stopped building our balloon garland but I want to go a little bit on the side so right on the side, wrap, push and pull, wrap, push and pull around totally random balloons, so pull, again around totally random balloon. Basically that's about it, that's what you're going to do with this technique, kind of see where you see the gaps, then place another 5 inch balloons and wrap and then keep building, keep elongating your balloon garland that way. am done with this orange color I'm gonna switch colors I want to go for this dark blue I am NOT starting this color straight like right on top of my orange I want to go over my orange so I am repositioning my fishing line and I am starting to place my blue color right on top of my orange and keep on building again Keep on building my blue out. Guys, once in a while I do stop. I go to the spot where I'm planning to hang this balloon garland and I'm kind of measuring and see where I want to build more and where I want to keep it less balloons and things like that. So once in a while, if you're doing this technique, stop, go measure your balloon garland if you have that chance and then go from there. I came back from the spot where I was measuring my balloon garland at uh, and now looks like I need to make a turn. So I reposition my fishing line from here to here just between the balloons and you're good. Now I am making this uh, turn and building this way. Hey guys, I am taking a break from my balloon garland. I'm about to go eat dinner right now. But before I'll do that, I wanna show you how I take all of my command hooks off my walls so these are half a pound command hooks i like them they are not as strong as three pound five pound ten pound i don't know how many pounds they have 
they are tiny but they are strong some of you are afraid to use them on your walls some of you are not sure some of you are asking to show you how i'm doing that so i am showing you how i'm taking them off this spot over here you guys this is my fault completely my fault i accidentally ripped this ear off of my hook so i literally had to rip it off of out of my wall this hook this was um heavier hook than half a pound and after that i switched to my half a pound hooks so you need to take this uh, off properly you take the ear and you pull on your ear these chameleon hooks were here for months so keep pulling be gentle and voila here my wall is completely smooth no damage i love these command hooks you just need to take them off properly you guys don't be afraid to use your command hooks and you'll be good don't rip it off like i did here don't just be careful pull it gently pull it up gently and you'll be good I moved from my filming room into my hallway because uh, it's a lot easier to deal with this garland and move to my breakfast area back and forth from here than going from my filming room. Anyways, I am switching my colors again. I am going with this coral color. I repositioned just now my um, fishing line to the side right there and I am starting to mix in this color right here. garland for now i am on my last color i want to hang this balloon garland on my curtain rods with my fishing line and then uh, finish building while my balloon garland is hanging because it is a lot harder right now going back and forth you know from the room to the spot this balloon garland get is getting pretty long and pretty massive so it's a lot harder for me to transport and measure constantly. So I'd rather hang and then um, finish constructing. So as I said, fishing line and let's tie this up to my curtain rods. I am loving everything that I see here so far. I love how this balloon garland looks here better than I thought. I will take this Caribbean blue and I will extend my balloon garland down to the floor. Part, I am not sure about that's why I am using rubber bands I think it's gonna be a good idea what I'm thinking right now so what I want to try is take my leftover five inch balloons in orange and try to incorporate them in my Caribbean blue then dark blue in my coral and then the coral into my blue something like that I don't know Let's try this out, we'll see. With this trick with rubber bands, you can easily remove your balloons from your garland and just move on without thinking how can I take them off because I glue them with glue, right? So easy, take the rubber band off and balloons will 
be off with your rubber band. So I am taking two pairs of balloons. I am interwinding them together to create these uh, clusters of four quads. I am putting my rubber band over one of the balloons and I'm stretching as wide as I can and placing them over the balloon, over the spot where I want my different color balloons to be. not liking this I don't like how this looks so I'm removing these two spots and I'm taking this blue I'm gonna add a, a little more blue on blue and then orange on orange and other colors on other colors so let's fill this balloon garland just a little bit more Here is what I have for you guys today. This is my take on this Peppa Pig inspired balloon garland. I am loving the colors. I love that this balloon garland doesn't scream I am Peppa Pig balloon garland in your face. You know what I mean? You can always customize this balloon garland and make it more um, more like Peppa Pig. You can add something that they're known for or Peppa Pig balloons to this garland. I don't know. I don't watch Peppa Pig so I have no idea what is happening in that cartoon. I don't let my kids watch it. I mean you got the idea. So you can customize it to yourself and do so much more with this balloon garland. Just um, imagine and just unleash your creativity on it. This orange color right here it looks a lot richer in color on camera in real life it looks a lot more settled and more true to orange color i love it i constructed this balloon garland with my 20 pound fishing line literally 99.9 percent .9 was built with my fishing line and then as you saw me uh, trying to incorporate other colors on other colors it didn't work out so I added a few clusters of five inch balloons with my rubber bands and it works really really good you can use glue dots but use more than one glue dot per balloon or you can use low temperature glue gun or anything else that you are used to uh, you know filling in spaces with on your garland I love the quality of these balloons i love working with qualitics thank you so much lauradell paper and balloon company for sending me these awesome quality balloons i lost hi oleg hi oleg okay my husband's home and he's crushing everything anyways i lost only one 11 inch balloon in the caribbean blue while it was blowing just popped on me and then you guys i am getting better at this technique because i caught only three balloons three balloons i'm getting better if you want to keep all of your balloons inflated use a gentle hand on pulling on your fishing line because if you're gonna pull on your fishing line really really hard while building this balloon garland you will cut a lot of balloons so keep practicing keep trying you'll get better at it i am so excited you will see more balloon garlands with this technique all right you guys Whew. i need to finish this up wrap this up i will link and list everything in the description under the video and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video as well Alrighty guys, so this is it. This is my take on this balloon garland setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be there. I will try to help you out to the best of my abilities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos and I hope You'll have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.